Dear Shenhua, my work is done. The Phoenix entrusted to our people is now complete. The time of destiny has come. Go with the one who holds the Phoenix, Shenhua, and find the proof. Yield yourself to the light and go together. I shall give you the family treasure, the Sword of Seven Stars. Think of the sword as a part of me and keep it with you. I shall always watch over you. What the? Leo. Right. What is this? A dragon and a phoenix. Just like the mirrors. So this is what he was working on. From a distant land in the east. From across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him. The strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten, alone. What is that poem? It has been told in the village since long ago. The one who holds the phoenix. That's Bailu Village. We might find some clues about my father there. Let's go. Sure. Hey, Shenhua. We have to get to the village. Let's go. Do you have any idea where your father might have gone? No, I don't. Hmm. Has this ever happened before? With my father? Yeah. Has he ever disappeared without telling you? No, never. I see. Are you certain that letter from the cave was... It's his handwriting, without a doubt. Okay. Are you sure? It didn't contain any clues? Uh. 
Shenhua? I don't know. Honestly, I don't care about the letter. I just want to find my father. I understand. Hello, Liu. Xinhua, who's this? This is Liu. He saved me from drowning in the river. <clears throat> Did something happen? A group of thugs tore through here two days ago. Oh no, really? Yeah, the kind we don't normally see around here. Let's... Keep moving. Hey, Shenhua. What's the matter? Does the village usually have gatekeepers? No. There's no need for them. Bailu is a very peaceful place. Are you sure about that? Because... They said some thugs came by. Yes, but it sounds like they're not from around here. Still, that's worrying. Even for you? Yeah. I admit, I'm a little unsettled myself. The village feels different somehow. I can imagine. Let's ask around for some clues. Let's go. That was a pretty old bridge. Indeed. That's the Verdant Bridge. That's what it's called. Yes. It's been in Bailu for a while. Is that the village? Up ahead? Yes. Everyone lives up ahead. We can ask around. Someone's bound to know something. Let's not waste another second. I have to go with Shenhua. I'm going to lose sight of Shenhua. I'd better hurry. <clears throat> Get rich quick? Are herbs really worth that much? Guess I'll take it. This is... Guess I'll take it.
I'm sure we'll find out more about your father. Thanks. You investigate here, Liu. I'll try another settlement. Excuse me. Hey there, lad. How about a game? Do you have a moment? It costs ten yuan to play. You open your wallet, or I shut my mouth. <laughs> pale toss? Want to try pale toss? Thanks. Aim carefully. Was all right. Wanna go again? Maybe some other time. See you around then. Do you have a moment? The game is pale toss. There's something I want to ask. Can't a man make a living? You're not helping any. Right. I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I don't know. Really? I don't know anything. I see. Hi there. Aha! Come to apprentice under me, have you? Oh, nothing. Fear not, for I am the great Suzu Xiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Do I look like I'd know anything about that? Right. Come by any time if you've got any burning questions about the great Chun Tai cheer. Will do. Hey, I have nothing to say to a stranger. Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen Mr. Yuan? He occasionally came to visit Zhou next door, but Zhou is likely working right now. Maybe Zhou's daughter Lin knows where he is. I see.
Hey there. Yeah? That looks great. <laughs> yep, Shenhua tells me that too. You know Shenhua? She's my friend. Is she your friend too? <laughs> yeah, she is. Say, do you know Mr. Yun? He's a stonemason. A stonemason? Just like my daddy? Your dad is a stonemason as well? Yep. Can I talk to him? Uh-huh. He comes home at 7 at night. He does. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. No problem. I just have a question. <coughs> have you seen Mr. Yun? Where did you come from, young man? What? There's always something interesting coming in from the Lijiang River. I wonder what's going to show up next. A game can't hurt. What's this? Maybe I'll talk to a few folks around here. I should talk to more people around here. Hey. What is it, dear? I've got a question. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I'm sorry, dear, but could you save that for later? This is no place for idle chit-chat.
Hello? Uh, guess I'm too early. I should come back later. Hello? Uh, it seems nobody's home. Do you have a moment? Huh? What is it? There's something I want to ask. What do you want? I'm looking for Mr. Yuan. Leave me alone. Uh, okay. I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? No idea! All I care about is martial arts. Okay, then. Excuse me. Oh, hello. How about a game of Lucky Hit? Um... Come on, come on, try it! Not right now. Oh, so you don't like Lucky Hit? Lucky Hit. Hello, will you try Lucky Hit? Now then, pick a platform. impressed will you keep going maybe some other time hope to see you again soon Pardon me. Who's there? May I talk to you for a moment? What is it? Oh, hi, mister. You know this man? He's my friend, Daddy. Well, get to it. I haven't seen Yuen around. If you know anything, I... Huh? What happened? Some thugs I'd never seen before showed up and wrecked my place. Thugs, huh? Why would they do this? It's me. They asked if I was a stonemason, so I said yes. And they just went crazy. Why stonemasons? They were definitely looking for something. What did they look like? Well, they weren't from around here, that's for sure. There were two of them. One had a shaved head with a tattoo on it. Don't tell me. They went to Yuan's place too? I don't know. Yuan was in the quarry when he disappeared. You're kidding. 
Those thugs might have something to do with that, too. Maybe. I'll be sure to tell Shenhua. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Have you learned anything new, y'all? Not about your father, no. I see. It seems that the thugs invaded Mr. Joe's home, though. Joe, you mean Ling's house? They must have my father, then. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm going with you tomorrow. What? I can't stop thinking about these thugs. I want to know more. All right, then. We'll go together. Good. Is this Shenhua when she was little? That's probably Yuren in the back. An upside-down fortune symbol. 
These were all over Hong Kong. I'd better stay out. Leo? Yeah? I've been thinking about the thugs that went to Ling's house. And? I don't think it was a coincidence. I'm with you. They must have had a reason. Let's talk to the villagers together tomorrow. Okay. I want to ask some questions of my own. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? Did your father say anything to you? You know, before he left? No, nothing. But that wasn't unusual. Hmm. Okay. Although... Although what? Now that I think about it, he turned back to look at me several times as he headed for the cave. Interesting. Maybe... he had a feeling he wouldn't be coming back. Good morning, Liu. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Hey, Xinhua. Yes? We should get ready to go. Okay. We can talk more on the way. Hey, um... What is it, Liu? It's time to make our way to the village. Got it. Let's get moving. Let's go. Yeah.
Your house is pretty far from the village, huh, Shenhua? Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. Is there a reason for that? The quarry could be one. Sorry? The quarry. It's a special one that even I'm not allowed to enter. Ah. So, your house is there to protect it? Yes, I believe so. Father didn't tell me anything about it, though. I see. Do you know what the dragon and phoenix in the quarry were for? No, I don't. But your father carved them, right? Yes, he must have. He wasn't alone, though. What do you mean by that? They must have taken generations to complete. So, you think your grandfather worked on them, too? Yes, possibly even further back than that. Have you heard any stories about them? Not a single one. My father always said he'd tell me when I got older. Then, how do you know it has so much history? Well, everyone in the village has history. The villagers? Yes. Generations of stonemasons, hunters, and farmers have all lived here. The same goes for the cattle wranglers. They've been here for ages. Oh, yeah? That's just how things work here. Is this a dojo? That's right. This is Marshall Hall. It's been here for ages. Marshall Hall? Long ago, many great martial artists traveled here, from all over the world. But no one comes here nowadays. Is that so? Ryo, you should come here to practice when you have time. Is that... Okay? Of course. Our doors are open to everyone that comes here looking to master the martial arts. Are you a new trainee? Sorry? Mmm, you're Japanese. I am. The people of Bailu Village have trained here for centuries. It has history. Did you say centuries? You would do well to train here if you have lost sight of the path. You can polish your techniques. So you'll let me train here? Not only that, I'll let you prove yourself by fighting the monks here. You're on. A fight? Very well. Your first opponent shall be Red Tiger. He is our least skilled monk, but do not underestimate him. say you will you join us yes absolutely very well what is your name Ryo Hazuki 
I shall have a name tag prepared for you. You will start from the lowest rank. Rank? Yes. You must fight and defeat someone above your rank in order to move up. You must train day in and day out to improve your Kung Fu. I'm going to lose sight of Shenhua. I'd better hurry. Whose shop is that? Over the bridge. Oh, it belongs to Uncle Tao. Uncle Tao, huh? Yes, people can get anything they need from his shop. I see. Leo, did you pack anything to eat? Why do you ask? Well, you can't run on an empty stomach. That's a very good point. Be sure to keep a little something on hand in case you get hungry later. A lot of places in the village sell food, too. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Leo, the herb. This is... It's licorice. You can make Chinese medicine with it. So, you can turn this into medicine, huh? Not just this. There are lots of herbs growing in Bailu. Where do they grow? They're all over the place, but you have to really look for them. Oh, really? There should be special maps at Uncle Tao's shop. Someone actually made maps? Yes, if you find enough to make some medicine. Uncle Tao will buy them from you. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. I'm going to lose sight of Shenhua. I'd better hurry. I would like to know, what's the tall tower just past the village square? Ah, uh, yes. That's the bell tower. What is it for? We ring the bell if there's a fire in the mountains, or if something dangerous is encroaching on the village. Is that why it's so tall? Precisely. It's also a useful landmark, because you can see it from anywhere in the village. That's handy. So, you can find your way back to the square? If you head for the bell tower? That's right. I'll have to keep that in mind.
A game can't hurt. This is great. Let's have a look around here first. I should talk to more people around here. I need help with something. I have nothing to say to a stranger. Can I talk to you about something? Sh Shenhua, w what's up? This is Liu. He's a friend of mine. For real? Did you see any thugs come here? No, but I heard some other people talking about it. Seems like some people got their homes trashed. Okay, thanks. Actually, I'm more worried about Yuan than those thugs. Thanks, Mingyong. Oh, uh, don't mention it. I'm just, you know. Excuse me. Oh, hey kid. What do you want? Have you come to apprentice under me? Oh, nothing. You're a beginner, right? You have a name? Ryo Hazuki. Well, Ryo, it's your lucky day. Fear not, for I am the great Suza Xiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good, thanks. What? You don't think I've got what it takes? That's not what I... Then let me show you what I've got! Fight me! Right now! Oh, man. Look, I'm not opposed, but... It's too late now, R It was Ryo, right? Thanks for that. Well, how's it feel? 
Pretty nice to train with a master like me, isn't it? Hmm? Uh, sure. Come by any time. I'm always up for a fight. Hi there. Zhe Xiang. What gives, young lady? Have we met or something? It's me, Shen Hua. Shen Hua? Look at you! You've grown like a weed since we last met. Have you seen the thugs that came here recently? Thugs, huh? I'll help you get rid of them. They don't call me the Lu Bu of Bai Lu Village for nothing. Zhe Xiang. Did you say Lu Bu? Wasn't he a bit of a thug himself? Wait, what? You sure? Well, you might have noticed, but this ain't no freaking school. Right. Hi, Zhishong. Good timing, bud. I was just starting to get bored. Let's spar. Okay, you're on. I knew you'd say yes. Thanks for that. Well, how's it feel? Pretty nice to train with a master like me, isn't it? Hmm? Uh, sure. Come by any time. I'm always up for a fight. I need help with something. Are you well, Ling? Oh, hi, Shenhua! I see. So you two are friends. Did you see any thugs come here? The people who messed up your house. Nuh-uh. Okay, then. Excuse me. You're not from around here, are you? Yue Feng, this is a friend of mine. Um... Is that right? Have you seen the thugs that came to the village recently? Word has it they showed up at the Wong household. But Wen's lips are sealed. Maybe she'd open up to you. It's worth a shot. Thank you very much. Just be careful, okay? She'd be heartbroken if anything were to happen to you. Huh? Who would be heartbroken? Shenhua, that's who! Actually, I... Oh dear. 
There I go running my mouth again. <laughs> okay then. I need help with something. Huh? Mei Ling. Oh, hi, Shenhua. Were you a good girl today? Of course. Who's he, Shenhua? This is Liu. He's a friend of mine. I need help with something. Yeah? I'm looking for Wang Wen. We want to talk to your mother. She's... Hey, where'd she go? She was just here a minute ago. She was talking to your Rei Feng. Oh, I see. Thanks a lot. Maybe I'll talk to a few folks around here. Excuse me. Whoa. Oh. Well, what have we here? Looks like it's a young man this time. Um. There's always something interesting coming in from the Lijiang River. Huh? Uh, first a tree, then a goat. I wonder what's going to show up next. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Jiang, there's something we'd like to ask you. <laughs> if it isn't Shenhua. Have you seen Wang Wen? Who's that now? You know, Mrs. Wong. Wang Wen? Oh, her. I saw her just a while ago. If you want to speak with her, then go see her. Thank you, Mr. Jiang. Hey. Who are you, young man? I can't help but notice you've been wandering around here lately. My name is Ryo Hazuki. Ah, so you're Japanese. Sorry, dear. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm not too partial to strangers. Wait, Mrs. Jung. Oh, Shenhua. I didn't know you were here. This is Ryo. He's my friend. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Now, what can I do for you? I've got a question. Have you seen Wong Wen? There's something I'd like to ask her. Oh, I'm sure she's around here somewhere talking up a storm to someone. I see. Let's go, Ryo. Let's have a look around here first. Is anyone there? Uh, looks like no one's home.
Excuse me. Huh? What is it? Hello, one. Shenhua! This is my friend, Yo. Oh, really? Your friend? I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? One. Did the thugs show up here? That they did. But my husband drove them off. He's really good to have around in times like these. What did they want? That's what I'd like to know. They kept hollering something about wanting to meet the stonemason. I was inside and didn't see anything. My husband told me about it after it was over. I see. Let's talk to Shiren, one's husband. Good idea. Thanks again. Thanks, one. Surprised to see this in China, too. Hi there. I've heard about you. You're Shenhua's friend, aren't you? The name's Hazuki. Oh, ho ho You look strong. Um... A young man like you needs a snake power. It's a bottle of snake power. Why this? Deadly snake venom fermented for three months. It's just one of the medicines that'll help you in battle. It'll fix you up good. I see, I think. I always sell it here at my shop in case you forget. Excuse me. What is it? There's something I want. What's that? What? You don't need anything? I'll get it later. Hi there. Eh? I'm looking for Wang Shiren. Do you know where Shiren is? Standing watch on the Verdant Bridge, I think. Can't you find him on the other side of the river? I'll go check. Let's go, Ryo. Okay. Excuse me. What is it? I hear I can earn some money here. If you're chopping, I'm paying. Chopping wood? Yeah. Will you do it? <laughs> That's it. Yes. Good. Ah. Oops. Mm hmm. Oops. Mm hmm. That's it. Oops. Mm hmm. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Mm hmm. That's it. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's it. Oops. That's it. Mm hmm. That's it. Oops. Mm hmm. Oops. That's it. Mm hmm. Oops. That's it.
I guess this should do it. No, I'm good. Well, I ain't forcing you to do anything. The job will be waiting for you. Hello, Leo. Da Tong. What's with the two of you? Is Wong Shiren around? I'd like to talk to Shiren. He left to patrol Long Weishan. It's up ahead. You'll see signs for it. I see. Looks like I can practice horse dance here. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Horse dance, huh? Maybe I'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll practice some more? Never mind. I could practice my one-inch punch. Sure, I'll give it a shot. One-inch punch. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll practice some more. I'll save it for later. A 
Excuse me. Hmm. Here to train? Have you come to spar or fight one of the monks? Which will it be? At your level, Red Tiger should be a good match. That's enough to raise your rank. Thank you. Do not get complacent. You must aim ever higher. Excuse me. What do you want? What are you two doing here? Uh, there's something I want to ask. I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? Did you see two of them the other night? Yeah, a big man with long hair, and a man with a shaved head and a spider tattoo. Tell me more. They barged in during the middle of the night when I was sleeping. They kept yelling this and that about a stonemason. I told them they had the wrong house and drove them off. Then I went right back to bed. Is there anybody else? Do you know where they went after that? That I don't know. But I do know that there were other witnesses. A man I met at the bar was talking about it. He was a bookie with a scar on his face. What kind of scar? A big one. Uh, on his cheek. We should talk to him, Leon. Yes. Let's go find him.
Hey, Shenhua. Yeah? I think we should split up and look for the bookie. I'll search from here to the village square. You go from the village square to the next settlement. Got it. I'll see you later. Yeah. Mr. Tao. Eh? Do you know a bookie with a scar on his face? Is there a bookie like that? You'd have better luck at Joy Park. Got it. Thanks a lot. What is it, Ryo? Do you know a bookie with a scar on his face? Ah, oh, right. The pale toss guy. I'd never forget that mug of his. Thanks. Excuse me. Hey there, lad. How about a game? A scarred face. This must be the guy. Huh? You say something? There's something I want to ask. So what? You're not here to play? I'm looking for someone who's seen those thugs. Oh, yeah. That guy. Where can I find him? I'll tell you after we play. Okay. Uh, lately, I'm not as good as I used to be. Why don't we let our throws do the talking? A challenge, huh? Yeah. Beat me and I'll tell you. How about it? Let's do this. No, you don't! See? Not a chance. That's kind of you. Okay, my memory's been jogged a bit. <laughs> I'm looking for someone who's seen the thugs. Oh, yeah, those thugs. I heard they gave the bookie running the flower, bird, wind, and moon games some trouble. And the bookie is? I've only seen him when out drinking. Have no idea where he'd be now. More games. I won't be worth anything if I don't eat.
Maybe I'll talk to a few folks around here. I need help with something. What do you want? Do you know the Flower Bird Wind and Moon bookie? What the hell is that? It's the name of a game of sorts. Look, man, I'm not interested in anything shady. I've got enough on my plate. Thanks anyway. Excuse me. <coughs> Do you know the Flower, Bird, Wind, and Moon bookie? Who's that now? I'd like to talk to the Flower, Bird, Wind, and Moon bookie. If you want to speak with him, then go see him. Any idea where I might find him? There's a venture area called Joy Park near the Verdant Bridge. Got it. Thanks a lot. Hey, bud. Bud! Over here. You can't play unless you buy some tokens. Okay. Buy some tokens if you want to play. Hi there. Buy some tokens if you want to play. It's ten you're on for 100 tokens. How many do you want? Thank you. You can exchange tokens for prizes, so be sure to head to the prize exchange after. You can then take your prizes to the pawn shop and sell them, so more tokens means more money. Good luck out there. Races, huh? Hey, here to play? I recommend Bailu Village's own turtle racing. How much will you put down? I'll come back. Excuse me. Hello there. Would you like to play some dice? The rules are simple. Roll a bigger number than me, and you win. I need your help with something. I'd like to talk to the Flower, Bird, Wind, and Moon bookie. He's not here yet. He usually opens up shop at 7 p.m. Got it. Thanks a lot. Dice. How about a game of roll it on top? Maybe some other time. See you then.
I think I can fish here. Enjoy dice games? Excuse me. Hello there. Would you like to play some dice? The rules are simple. Roll a bigger number than me, and you win. I need your help with something. I'd like to talk to the flower, bird, wind, and moon bookie. Over there. Thank you. Excuse me. One shot! One shot! Get your one shot here! No thanks. I'd like to talk about the flower, bird, wind, and moon bookie. Over there. Thanks. Excuse me. Hey there! Try your hand at Flower Bird, Wind and Moon. Care to try it, handsome? I just have a question. Aw, oh, why so serious, buddy? I hear those thugs cause some trouble. You're telling me! It was awful! What happened? I'll tell you all about it, if you play around. You gotta win, naturally! <laughs> I'll have to collect your bed in advance. All right. Which do you bet on, flower, bird, wind, or moon? This one. Coming in. That one goes to me. Up for another? The game isn't free. Buy some tokens first. I can't believe this generation. Huh. 
Hi there. Buy some tokens if you want to play. It's 10 you're on for 100 tokens. How many do you want? I'm all set. You don't need any? Excuse me. What is it? I'd like to help you split some wood. Now we're talking. Yes. That's it. Good. That's it. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Ah. Oh. That's it. Oops. Oh. Good. Mm-hmm. Perfect. That's it. So close. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Good. Oh. Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. I guess this should do it. No, I'm good. Well, I ain't forcing you to do anything. The job will be waiting for you. Hi there. Buy some tokens if you want to play. It's ten you're on for 100 tokens. How many do you want? Thank you. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I just wanted to thank you. Hmm? You fed me ever since I arrived, and I haven't thanked you enough. Oh, don't worry about that. You're my guest, and a very important one at that. Besides... Besides what? I always cook for two, since I lived with my dad. But don't worry, Shenhua. We'll get him back. I know. Then, I'll be cooking for three. That you will. I'd like to help out around the house. You would? I feel like a freeloader, and that's not how I was raised. Just let me know if there's anything I can do. Okay, but... Anything. Anything at all. 
Well, in that case, would you mind trapping some rabbits and pheasants for me? Um, I've never, um... <laughs> sorry. That's okay. I'm sure there will be other things you can help with. I'll let you know. Please do. What is your father like? His personality, you mean? Yeah. I haven't met him yet, so I'm curious. Well, he's quite strict. Really? Yes. But he has a softer side, too. We used to sit out on the porch and look at the stars. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. He'd tell me all sorts of stories about them. That's really sweet. I loved his stories. He sounds like a good man. I hope to meet him soon. You do? So I can ask him about the Phoenix Mirror and his letter. Yes, of course. Well, I can't wait to introduce you. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? It gets really quiet at night, doesn't it? And pitch black once the sun sets. You shouldn't go out after dark. Good point. There aren't any street lights out here either. Everyone turns in early, too. Well, aside from Sunset Hill, it's always busy out there. Really? What's the attraction out there? The bars that open up at night. There are bars in a village? Sure are. That's where all the adults go to drink and talk. Loudly. Do you want to go see it for yourself? Hmm. Okay. I'll check it out. I'll go with you when you do. You will? All right. Say, Leo. Yeah? Tell me about where you were born. You want to know about Yokosuka? If that's where you were born, then yes. Yeah. I was born there. What's it like? Talking about Yokosuka reminds me of my friends. The people you told me about on the way here, right? Yeah, exactly. Let's see. There was Goro, the punk. Right. Tom, the hot dog vendor. Right again. You've got a good memory. And Harasaki, the photo lady. Huh? Photo la- Oh, right. I showed you her photo. Yes, she's pretty. Yeah, she is. Yeah, you could say that. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liu? What's your father like? He's rather strict, I think. You think? Yes, but I can tell it's all because he loves me so much. I know what you mean. My father was the same way. He's also my teacher. I learned a great deal from him. Your teacher? How so? He taught me all about the mountains, the animals, and the Lijiang River. He taught me everything I needed to know to survive in Guiling. Wow. He sounds like a good father. There was one thing I taught him, though. Oh, yeah? What's that? How to cook. I'm way better at it. Oh, I see. I can't argue there. Everything you've made has been delicious. He did the cooking when I was little, but I've taken over for him. Oh, yeah? He'd get this sour look on his face and say, Wish I could chisel half as good as you cook. Say, Ryo. Yeah? What was your father like? He was... A strict martial arts master. Oh, right. Your father taught you martial arts. He didn't go easy on me either. I never got a break, no matter how many times he threw me down. That sounds harsh. I thank him for it now, though. I wouldn't be where I am without his training. I believe it. He did his best to build me up. Well, I think he did a great job. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I've been thinking about Yuan. What about him? What was the drawing of the mirror in his room? I have no idea. 
Did he ever tell you anything about it? Not a thing. I'd never even seen it before. Hmm. He always told me never to touch his work desk. I see. The pattern on his mirror, the phoenix mirror, and the carving in the cave. They've got to be connected somehow. I think you're right. They could also be linked to his disappearance. We should ask around for more information about your father. Good idea. Say, Leo. Yeah? One more question about your father. Go ahead. What did he do? He ran the Hazuki Dojo. So he was a martial arts instructor? Yeah. A tough one. His students feared him. Did he scare you too? No. He didn't scare me. Not even a little? I haven't feared a single opponent I've ever faced. That includes my father. Impressive. You're a pretty tough guy. You think? I mean, I don't know. You're not sure? I want to get stronger as much as the next guy, but I'd never call myself tough. Why not? I feel like my father will come storming up to me the second I do, yelling, Don't be so full of yourself. <laughs> so he did scare you after all? Huh? No, I mean, he just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you win. Hey, Xinhua. I still have some cleaning up to do. You should get some rest. Yeah, I might do that.